was an exceptionally dry summer. I've never seen a summer quite like that. I would say it was definitely getting hotter each year, without a doubt. We've noticed it for the last five years. We knew it'd be hot, because that's what we came for, the climate. But um, 2003 was crazy. I mean, it was horrible and uncomfortable, uh, and difficult to hide from it. There had been three months of three months or more of no rain, and everything was very, very dry, and the trees were shriveling up, so it was like a tinderbox. The whole area was like a tinderbox. We had one very small fire. Ten days later, we had quite a substantial fire, but the heat went on and on and on, and then the big fire came. Today, firefighters aided by water bombing the fire started, quickly came this way, and it was quite horrendous because there was smoke pouring this way. It was quite frightening. And the wind was very, very strong at the time, about 100 kilometres an hour, and very, very hot, like a hairdryer. The vines here normally would block a fire to some extent. It was so ferocious and so dry that day, and the pines were actually exploding. The whole of that hillside was alight. That's obviously the time to think about leaving. <laughs> well, it was burning on the motorway, wasn't it, on yeah. some of the main roads? I think my first impression, apart from being horrified, you know, what had happened to our home, the lack of birds. It was eerie. It was so quiet. It just wasn't real, was it? No. You know. The main thing was we were alive. Yeah. Uh, everything was burnt, everything from the village upwards. And we got to the house. I thought perhaps it just got, got damaged, but it was totally burnt through, you know. The shame was we lost all our old records and photos, and so we got nothing left of uh, marriage and kids. There's the house in the front. There's the pool, completely melted all the equipment. You can build houses, but you can't replace the forest. No. Hectares and hectares and hectares. No. It actually hasn't got time to get back to its full no. glory before no. another fire comes along. Because of this fire, there four people locally lost their lives. There was just a little hamlet over here. There was an English lady, 60 years old. A car went into a ditch. She got out to run from the fire, and that was it. She, she died. I think it was something like 14 or 15,000 people extra died in France. And they did attribute all those deaths to this incredible heat wave. 50 people have died in the Paris region. And because still, of the heat. there's no let up. France faces another stifling, sleepless night and a blistering day tomorrow. Well, it's a fact that uh, it's getting warmer earlier every year. And I think we're going to have more and more fires. It's, it's bound to it's happen. It's bound to happen again, you mm. know. Sure as uh, eggs are eggs. Vamos cair.